Yo, what is up guys? Me here, Flat Pancake. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up your own offline BHOP server. Uh, the first step to making your own offline BHOP server is to find the map that you want to play and type it in console. If you don't know how to get console up, you go to options, game settings, then when it says enable developer console, change that to yes. Now you can do is click back and you're going to hit the tilde key, which is below the escape button and above the tab. It looks like a little squiggly line and this will open up. Alright, so you're going to type in the commands map D E dust 2. That's what I do. You might have a bhop map that you're going to try out, so you would do map bhop underscore, you know, whatever the map name is. But I'm going to be doing D dust because I do not have any bhop maps, sadly. I'll probably get some, but I do not have any at the moment. So, we're going to wait for this map to load. Hopefully, it will not take forever like it probably is going to or no okay so you can continue go to whatever team you're gonna open up console and type in these commands bot underscore kick sv underscore cheats mp round time change that to however minutes you want I'm gonna do 60 and then diffuse I put that to zero now you can do is mp warm up and this will end the warm up and you'll be the only one on the team so, now what I'm going to do is type in a couple bhop commands. So first thing you need to type in is sv underscore air accelerate. Just make that a thousand. sv um, stamina jump cost. Make that zero. This is stamina jump cost is what makes um, you not be able to like land uh, bhop. Because in CSGO they fixed it so you can't bhop as well. So now what we're going to do is try to bhop. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to be hop. This is just for practicing. You can't go online and do this, obviously, because you can't change the settings. But this is good for just, you know, practice. As you can see, it's pretty easy to be hop. I'm landing all of my jumps. And if we go up and we type in CL underscore show pos POS space one, that will show my velocity. So when my be hop, let's see what my velocity is. It's around 300 which is essential which is what you pretty much want to have anything below 250 is not considered to be up, it's just considered jumping also I'm playing on a 128 tick server which is what you can see there um, to get it to 128 tick you're going to need to go to the steam library by going to library and then you're going to right click on counter strike global offensive properties, set launch options, and type in tick rate 128, or whatever tick rate. Um, 64 is the default, 128 is the better one. Differences, 64 is a lot harder to land um, B hops. It's a lot harder to land shots on somebody. Also, if you didn't know, 64 is what um, competitive matches use. So when you go to find a game and you go to competitive, it's always going to be 64 tick. And 128 basically makes it so you land shots easier, um, they register more, uh, you land a lot of the b-hops, as you can see, I'm landing a bunch of these, like I'm keeping my speed and everything. Also, if you want to, you know, b-hop a little easier if you're practicing, change it to 780. This will give you some height, or extra height, to get more speed. This is what I do. I just practice be hopping. Also, the more s you strafe, the higher your speeds are going to be. I just use this a lot for practicing. It's good before like a game to warm up, but obviously you're not going to be hitting all these. If you want to act as a more realistic server, go ahead and change the um what was it stamina back to the regular. I don't remember what they were. I think this one was 50. I think the other one was 0.80. I can't remember. This might be right. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, I don't remember. But go ahead and send it back to default if you want more realistic. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.